Okay guys, in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to download the OneNote class notebook plugin. Uh, the way to get it is to go through Office 365. So we're going to go to office.com, we're going to click sign in, and then you're going to use your Lawson number at hcps.net as the password. Now your screen will, as the username, excuse me, now your screen will look like this. So I'm going to use my Lawson at hcps.net, I'm going to hit tab, and that's going to take me to the Hillsborough County Schools login page, which you can see here. I'm then going to use my current password, same one that I use for ideas. And then it's going to load up Office 365. If you've never been in Office 365, make sure that you uh, check out one of our classes or some of our other tutorial videos on how to use it to collaborate with your students. But if you're here to do the class notebook, pretty sure you know how to do it. So nevertheless, we're going to click this icon right here called Class Notebook. It's also available under the App Launcher up here in the upper corner right here class notebook you can get to it from anywhere in 0365 by using the app launcher so we're gonna go ahead and click class notebook it'll open a new tab and these are your normal class notebook options but you notice right here there's an option for download download the class notebook add-in that's what you want to click that's what this tutorial is about so click that go through the process of downloading it and installing it and once it's installed you'll see in OneNote you'll have a new tab that says class notebook once you've got that installed go ahead and move on in the tutorial but for now take the time to pause the video download the file get it installed make sure it's there and then you can move ahead in the tutorial okay so at this point you should have had the class notebook plugin installed we're gonna go ahead and work through some of the options in the class notebook um, for this I'm using a class notebook that I created for a training that I give um, you guys obviously create a class notebook for your classes and for your students but I'm gonna go to the class notebook tab right here and here are the options now this makes a class notebook unbelievably powerful to work with it allows you to distribute content easily to review student work and even go and add teachers and things without having to log into 0365 so we're going to start first off with the first option, which is distributing a page. Okay, If I click Distribute Page, it gives me the three sections that are in my student notebook. Okay, Now notice, I also have an option for individual and group distribution. Okay, So if I want to send this page to every student's Handouts tab, I just click Handouts, bang, it's sent. If I want to pick the individual students I want it to be sent to, I click Individual and Group Distribution, and now here are all the students in my notebook. So I can put check boxes next to the ones I want to send it to and the ones that I don't. Now I can also click the tab here and make student groups. Student groups are exceptionally powerful because if I have different handouts for different groups because I'm differentiating instruction, I can create groups based on that. So what I would do is I would hit add a group and I would call this whatever name I wanted to call it. Let's call it the blue group. And then I would check which students are in the blue group and hit OK. And now those students are part of the blue group. So when I come into the class notebook, I'm allowed to now diver, uh, distribute just to students or to student groups. If I wanted to go ahead and <clears throat> send the distribution, I would hit copy and it would distribute the files out to those students. So that's how you distribute a single page. So go ahead and pause the video now and work on distributing a single page. Alright, we're also going to talk a little bit now about cross notebook distribution. So I can actually distribute this page across multiple notebooks. Now in this case I only have one, but if you had multiple notebooks down this list you could select multiple notebooks and you could pick which sections you wanted it to go to. Once you would pick which notebooks and which sections, you'd hit copy and it would distribute it to all of those. Again, really powerful if you're teaching multiple preps or multiple preps or multiple periods of the same prep. You don't have to go into each OneNote notebook and distribute the files. You can very simply say, okay, I'm going to check which class notebooks I want, which sections I want it in, and hit copy. And it will distribute it immediately right to those notebooks with one click. Really powerful again. So if you do have that, try that. Just go in and see how the menus work. You don't necessarily have to copy it to there yet. But for the moment, if you want to do that, go ahead and pause the video and try that. And then when you're ready, hit play. Now, one of the things that you can really do with this tool as well is you can distribute a new section to the notebook. So if you want a new section in the one class notebook that you maybe didn't create when you first set it up, 
again very simple and easy to do I'm just gonna click distribute new section I give it a section name and hit create and this will push a new tab out to all of my student sections okay so in this particular class notebook you can see I have handouts notes and a lesson example perfect that's for my training what I need what if I needed to add something else like collaboration or um, PLC something along those lines okay all I would do is hit distribute new section call it PLC hit create and all, all of them will have that new section now we know about when the class notebook you've got something called the content library and we can distribute that content library easy to other notebooks by clicking distribute content library now if I had additional class notebooks again I only have one open right now but if I had additional ones they would be listed here and I could check which things I wanted to distribute to those notebooks and it would instantly distribute it to those class notebooks so I would basically pick which sections of this class notebook that I have open I want to send to other ones again I'm sorry that I don't have other ones in the list here but if I did it would have class notebooks right here in the list I would distribute that to them and then hit copy and then that would copy the content library over into those other classes last option we're going to talk about for the OneNote class notebook plugin is review student work very very powerful tool okay if you don't have student work in your OneNote notebook this is kind of going to look weird but I'm going to show you how it'll look when you go through okay so let's look at how to review student work if I click review student work it's gonna ask me which section do I want to review stu student work in okay so let's say in this case I'm gonna pick handouts now here what you've got is you got some options I'm gonna sort the students by their last name so that keeps it nice in an alphabetical order and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the first tab that I want to take a peek at so let's say I had them do something in UPAD awesome there are all my students notice sorted by last name in this notebook now all I can do very quickly is click on the first student here would be the work that they done and I could go in and leave feedback when I'm ready to go to the next student I click the next student's name when I'm ready to click the next one I click the next student's name notice that right here as I go through the student name is changing and that allows me to rapidly give feedback on whatever assignment that I've assigned the students without having to come in and go up into a student out into a student out into a student I can very simply go to the section I want click the students name and rapidly review their work and leave feedback huge time saver for you as a teacher if you're using that class notebook really heavily so you can quickly give feedback to each of your students on their work now you'll notice also that under review student work there's a cross notebook review so in this case if I had multiple class notebooks from my multiple periods I could select all of the ones for the periods then hit review okay pick a section excuse me I apologize pick a section handouts hit review and you'll notice the same window comes up but in this case it would pick all of those sections from multiple notebooks and I would be able to rapidly go through all of my classes and look at all their work and give feedback take a second if you want if you have students in there try that out again class notebook plugin tool is an unbelievably powerful new tool that they've added to the class notebook which makes it very simple for you as a teacher to distribute content review work and really have an excellent collaborative classroom please watch our other tutorials on other topics that we have and thanks for taking the time